Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I am on a journey to cleaning my kitchen. Well, I'm cleaning, decluttering, and organizing my kitchen because it's, well, it's pretty, pretty messy. Well, let's be honest, my whole house is messy, but we are focusing on my cabinets right now. Today I am doing like my Tupperware cabinets and then I'm also going to be doing like the pots and pans and also where the dishes are. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start off with cleaning these drawers and I'm going to be using the Method All Purpose Cleaner. And as you can see, somebody, well, I don't know if you can see it, but it might be really light, but somebody put little bunny stamps on my, my drawer. Doing? It was, yeah, someone's proud of it, right? Uh -huh. And someone put crayon on it too. I wonder who that was. That was me too. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm just going to be cleaning this. So where's my bunny staff? I can do the bunny staff again. No, the Where's my bunny staff? I don't know, but I'm going to find it. Alright, I'm going to try these Clorox wipes because Apparently this method isn't working, so let's see if these Clorox wipes are, will help get the bunny off. So the Clorox wipes work to get the bunny off. So. In there for years. Sorry. Poor little thing. He said he was going to find it and put it back on there. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't be shocked. You know, so many bunny stamps that one thing. He asked me where it was so he could do it again. I said, not Well, don't I'm, hold your breath. I don't think the Easter bunny is going to bring you another bunny stamp. Okay, y'all ready to see inside? Okay. Ah! It just kind of thrown in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through every single one and if it doesn't have a lid, the lids are actually in another uh, drawer over here. Oh yeah, I need to go through this too, but I'll do that next. 
Um, I'm going to go through it and if it doesn't have a top that goes with it, then I'm just going to get rid of it. Actually, well, I'm going to put it to the side until I finish all my dishes. I have some um, dishes in the dishwasher and the sink and once I go through all those and they are and they're, they don't have a match to anything, I'm going to throw them out. That's the plan anyway. things if you missed the video when my first cabinet video I don't know how many of these my husband has 50 okay I'm exaggerating but 10 maybe I'm not exaggerating and kind of rearrange them like so by size and likeness so I can when I get the lids out I kind of I can match them easier
some of these tops. Tops. And then we're gonna go through and try to match them up. I changed my mind a little bit. This is safe some room. If they fit together, I am gonna put them together like this. Just to save some room. These, all these rectangle ones are ones that are going to be difficult. They're all different sizes. I like these though. Look how well they fit together. These are my favorite.
just kind of wanted to show you what it looked like in here before I uh, kind of close it off. But um, yeah, I <laughs> I have so many of these. But I know halfway through doing this, I was like, I could probably throw away three fourths of all these. I don't need all these, but. Yeah, I could definitely throw away three-fourths of these. But since they're already in there, I'm like, I guess I'll just keep them in there. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to kind of show you what I have going on. Um, there's three rows. I have, oh, well, there's another row back there. I don't know if you can see it. So there's one, two, three. And then there's one, two, three. And then there's this one. And there's one, two, three. So there's... I have a lot going on in there, so you, you can't see everything that's going on here. So this right here, this what you're seeing right here, that's actually the middle row. There's things behind it. But then, this right here, try to put in there. This is going to go in front. It's going to look like this. It's gonna look pretty neat for the outside. I couldn't fit all of my favorites in here. I have my favorite tall ones, but they aren't gonna fit in here, so I'm gonna have to put those actually on the bottom. Say these came out of a lunch meat or something, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these.
of what's left here I'm just going to put to the side and after I do with the dishes and get out of this washer I will see if they have matches and if they don't bye bye okay so I ended up changing it a little bit um, I was able to move some stuff around in the back so my big ones I was able to get back in get in here so my big ones are now in here so that means that I have extra room down here yay I have room so I'm actually kind of proud of that Okay, so <laughs> I know I was told you that I was going to do like the other cabinets, but I don't realize how long all these <laughs> videos are going to be. I'm like, why? I'm like, why would this take so long to do, but it ends up taking forever. So, yeah. Anyway, you got a video of me doing my, I guess it's called Tupperware, cabinet area. Alright, hope you liked it. If you did, please get a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss any of my other videos. And I promise I'll finish this kitchen eventually. It's taking a little bit longer than I had hoped. But it will get done eventually. I hope you enjoy this journey of me cleaning my kitchen. It's probably going to be a whole journey of me cleaning this house. If you're interested in that, why don't you come on this journey with me? Alright, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Put your money where